Hi guys, it's James from Veridictum again. I'm here to help you get a refund from the Ventana token sale. Unfortunately, the token sale did not meet its minimum requirement, so we're refunding all the ether that was contributed to it. So this is the process for getting your ether back. And we suggest you do that, otherwise your ether is just gonna be tied up in a smart contract. We can't do it for you, you have to do it yourself. So the, you really want three tabs open. I've got uh, multiples here on my screen. Uh, but you're going to want myetherwallet.com, which is the, the one that I used in my example. You're going to want your own wallet, whatever that wallet is. You're going to want the Veridictum, or sorry, the Ethereum blockchain, uh, the Etherscan.io uh, tab open, etherscan.io, and the Veridictum um, token sale page. So tokensale.veridictum.io. Navigate to the um, to the contract page. So from myetherwallet.com, you're going to want to go to the contracts tab. So go to contracts, and you'll see how to interact with the contract. There's a contract address and ABI JSON interface. Uh, ignore the select existing contract. Don't don't mess with it. Uh, we don't need to use it at all. We just need the contract address and the ABI JSON interface. So we're going to get the contract address by going to the Veridictum website for the token sale. You can double click on that guy and copy it, and then we can go over to myetherwallet.com, paste it in the contract field. And um, that's what we, that's what you need. We're also going to go to the etherscan.io page and we're going to paste that in the search box in the upper right area, upper right corner, and, and search it. So this gives us the details about, um, about the contract. And we'll scroll down to the contract source tab, uh, click on it, and then scroll down midway to that, in that tab and you'll see contract ABI. There's a big box here that scrolls way down. If we need to copy the whole thing and paste it in that other field. So the easiest way to do this is to triple click on the field. Uh, three fast clicks. One, two, three. And uh, it highlights everything uh, from beginning to end. So that's, that's nice. It should get everything. Then right click and copy or just control C. And then go back over to myetherwallet.com. And when you do that, just paste it in there. So you'll get the whole thing that you just copied pasted in there. So contract address and ABI JSON interface are important, and we're going to click access. What this allows us to do is access the read-write contract functions. So we're going to select a function, and that function is all the way at the bottom. It's one that says refund. So click on the last one that says refund, and what you should see then is on the same contracts tab, you'll see the contract address still, the ABI, and now you'll see the contract with refund in this drop-down. But you're going to need one more thing. You're going to need your address. So this is the public key address you used, not the private key, the public key address you used when you bought the, the, the Ventana in the first place. So you'll want to uh, grab that from your file wherever you've got it stored, and you're going to want to paste it in there So or type it in there. Now, I like to copy and paste because I can check everything very easily and make sure it's good. Then you're going to, uh, from my Ether wallet, I hit the login. So I'm going to access my key store file, which should pop up on the other screen, off screen. And I'm going to grab my password off screen as well. Um, and I'm just going to paste it in because that's the easiest thing to do. Unlock it. And now I can actually write to that contract and request for a refund. And that's what we're doing. So we're asking for a refund from, from this address, from the contract, to be credited to my address here. So when I do that, amount to send. Don't put anything in there, leave it zero. Uh, and your gas limit, leave it alone too. You don't have to do anything with it. Uh, it does cost you a little bit to get the refund, but that's the transaction of the blockchain. So that um, that's not something that we at uh, Veridictum, uh, we don't receive anything from that. So I'm gonna click on generate transaction. It's going to pop up with raw transaction, tra signed transaction, just like it did last time when we talked about how to buy it and how to get involved. Um, you can cancel at that point if you want to, but I'm, uh, I'm sure this is the transaction I want to make. And so it's been broadcast to the network. So it says it may take three plus hours to confirm. Um, so what I'm going to do is go over to another etherscan.io uh, page, a tab. And it's showing me my address here. I've already pre-populated this. I'm going to refresh my page because you'll see my transactions down here. Uh, so there's a new one that's pending. It 
we launched it 14 seconds ago. And uh, what you can see is the history of every transaction I've made, how I've moved things in, how I've moved things out, when I bought. Uh, this was an attempt earlier. This failed, by the way. This one failed because I was trying to get the refund and was playing with it and uh, making sure I had the process correct. Um, so we're going to refresh that again. Let's see how we go. Uh, this one took a little while to run. It was a bit over a minute. So we're going to give this a little bit of time as well to see how it processes. If you have any questions, feel free to ping us on one of the channels. We're on Telegram. Um, you can email us. You can contact us back through multiple avenues, and we'll uh, we'll help you out with this. I know it's a, a bit. There we go. All right. Um, there is the transaction that came through, and it looks like it was a success. So. Uh, it should refund the funds back to my account. And you can see the uh, actual cost was about 26 cents in the current transaction method. So everything should be good here. And I should be able to uh, go back. And uh, if, I, if I look at my balance, my balance is higher than it was before. I had 0.14 and now I've got 0.19. Um, so all that added up together, that shows that I've, I've got my, my Ether back. That's fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, uh, give us a shout back. If something goes wrong, um, you can always try it again. But uh, just remember, keep that in a zero uh, Ether on that transaction because it should re uh, you're requesting a refund. You're not sending stuff to it. So should be all good. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.